Well, the sun wouldn't come up without me starting a new project. Always got something new going on. Good morning. So I have bought a 2001 EasyGo 36 volt golf cart. And um, as usual per me, it, I couldn't just put batteries in and get it to go. Something's going on with it. So I'm just gonna try to uh, document my process with this. And um, the approach I wanna take though is, let's look at the most expensive thing first. I know the batteries are the, probably the most expensive thing. Uh, but I'm going to walk through the motor and then probably uh, make sure it's good. And then uh, before I start pouring money into this thing, I'm definitely not buying new batteries for it until I ensure that I've got all the electrical circuit working right uh, before I make that seven, eight hundred dollar investment. Or for some people who they really want them, or twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. So uh, anyhow, let me show you what I've done this morning. Well, thanks to a fellow YouTuber who made a great post. Um, you can see the, all right, sorry y'all, try not to turn that camera that way. You can see the labels on the motor, the S1, S2, A1, A2. So um, he walked us through in his video how to connect S1 and A2, basically using, I used one of the battery cables and uh, I removed the regular leads and put just a jumper from S1 to A2. Um, frankly, I don't I, I don't know how all the connections are in that motor. I, I trusted this guy, but doing this, we can run this thing off of 12 volts. So uh, the next step was to take a positive jumper cable and go from a 12 volt battery, which I've got my boat battery right there, uh, and go to A1 from the positive to A1. Um, and then I went from the negative on the battery um, to S2 and I've got the cart up off the ground got it on the jack uh, anyhow and as soon as I connected that negative to S2 those wheels started spinning so first step out of the way my motor is good at least it it's turning now whether it turns under a, a you know a 400 pound load I don't know uh, but that's I'm going to assume it's good and I'm going to move on to the next piece of this all right I'm still trying to diagnose my uh, my golf cart I did find a blog about um, a, a throttle sensor um, possibly being bad and I, I'm questioning my solenoid uh, solenoid seems to be stuck uh, active. Um, anyhow, let me just show you what I'm working through. I've taken up the um, part of the mat. I had to take screws out and basically I had to cut them off to get them out of there. Um, this is a 2001, so 20 years of rust. But underneath the floor mat is uh, where the sensor goes. And this is what it looks like right here. It's a uh, not much of a part, but it's what tells the controller how much uh, juice to send to the motor. So uh, we're going to be replacing him, and he literally just has two little, it's actually kind of those little push-on nuts. There's nothing really robust about it, and two wires, and that's it. So we're going to try that first, and then we're going to move to the uh, solenoid next if that doesn't fix it. All right, I've got the new part in. Uh, literally, these just little uh, cheap, flimsy nuts fit on plastic studs. There's just two wires putting it in there. Let me just show you what this does, if I can hold this mat back. When you push the gas pedal, that rod's going in there. The only thing I can figure is there's some kind of electromagnetic current going through there. I'm not an electrician, but I believe that's what's happening. Um, yeah, you also see on the far side, you can see this micro switch gets released when you get to a certain level, and that must be obviously uh, connecting the circuit, and then it breaks it when it comes back off. So there's that, that part installed. Now we're going to see if that makes this work. Well, as you can see at the end, it worked. The 
throttle position, I guess it's a sensor if you want to call it that, um, was definitely the issue. Uh, when I opened it up, it had looked like it had been grounded out. Um, anyhow, about a $25 part didn't take long at all to replace, and um, we were up and going. Hope this helps you diagnose your easy-go golf cart. Thanks. Thanks for watching.